Hello, friend, and welcome back to my studio. I've been struggling to write an entertaining script lately because my insomnia is blazed up like a wildfire. I understand sleep trouble is something that, unfortunately, most people can relate to personally, so I thought I'd make my video about it. Also, today I'm starting a new large painting, and you can see just the start of it coming together. I always call the beginning the creepy stage, and if you look at the cat, you might agree. If you'd like to see how it turns out with more time, please subscribe and consider liking the video. Anyway, back to the story. My personal journey with insomnia didn't start until around high school. As a kid, I was such a good sleeper that my mom tells me regularly about me asking to go to bed and tucking myself in. These days, I envy that child. I've gone over two weeks without sleep. I get rest, yes, and some nights I may perhaps dip into a slightly deeper version of relaxed breathing, but my brain feels awake the whole time. I don't have racing thoughts, it's just static up there, but there's some unknown barrier between being so exhausted and about to pass out and actually passing out. I've done sleep studies, I've tried meds, I've seen lots of doctors, and if anyone mentions melatonin to me, I mentally picture them exploding on the spot. My sleep hygiene is fine. I've tried white noise, I do routines, I just can't sleep. Thankfully, it's only some of the time. Other times, I can sleep literally two days in a row and still feel like sleeping some more. This week has been one of no sleep, and I've been trying to put into words the way it feels. The struggle is, it's such a non-tangible experience that I find words inadequate. So, I've composed a few simple songs to depict the difference. A regular day, plodding through the hours, the ups and downs, the routines, my brain feels a little something like this. A single day without sleep isn't much different. My tolerance is pretty high now, and it sounds about the same in my head, just with a little less energy. On the second sleepless day, I start to feel it in my coordination and my reaction time, like this. The third day without sleep, there's a mismatched buzzing frequency starting to become audible. Something like this. On the fourth day, things get more chaotic. I start leaning a little when I walk. I have no more internal energy and coffee becomes my blood in order to do any kind of task. My pulse feels a little more audible, and my overall tune sounds something like... The fifth day of not sleeping, I start to fray a little more. Now, without coordination or energy, I also start to feel like evaporating water. There's less of me to go around, and every loud sound or bright light physically hurts. Simultaneously, my brain throws in some higher, off-tune pitches. Something like...
on the sixth day, I start running into walls, and my brain gets a panicked tone of chaos and pain. Everything else still goes on, and now it just feels more wrong. Kind of like... On the seventh day, and however many more days I go, all attempt to keep functionality has dropped down to the barest minimum. Now my head is virtually empty, my body is a corpse being hurtled through time and space, and I'm just trying my best to keep beat with the few things that I have to do to function. Kind of like... Today, I'm happy to say I've gotten one solid night's sleep after two bad nights sleep after about 10 days of waiting impatiently in bed for the sun to be up. I feel now as if I'm rising from the grave, digging my way through the dirt with my fingernails and groggily coming back to life after years of being out of it. Maybe I'll test my coordination and keep painting. If you'd like to see what I make, please consider subscribing to my newsletter linked down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye, friend.